If you clicked on this thumbnail, chances are you already own a 10 year old BMW or you're planning to buy one or you're somewhere in the middle. So in this video, I'm going to give you some checkpoints that you can tick off and make sure your car is in great condition and feels brand new so you don't have to spend a fortune getting a brand new car all the time. We all know that is very expensive as car prices are just climbing through the roof. Something like a 328i from 10 years ago could almost feel like a 330i from this year, right? I'm not sure about that, but close enough. All right, so since these cars are turbocharged, first of all, you gotta check your charge pipe and boost pipe because they tend to crack since they are made up of plastic. Check your air intake because it's made of plastic and hose could break off of it. Happened to me before and happened to a lot of people I know. Another thing you gotta check, your vacuum lines. A lot of heat cycles, they would get brittle, they would break off, they would come off. So you gotta check those, make sure you don't have any leaks over there. Then your turbo, your wastegate, it could be rattling. There's a big problem, especially in the N20 motor, uh, which is 10 years old. Maybe you have to rebuild your turbo to make sure you don't have any boost leaks. Other than that, you may have oil leaks. So you could have two types of oil leaks. It could be an external leak, which means it would leak oil out of the engine and you could visibly see the oil could be from your valve cover gasket it could be from your oil pan gasket it could be from your vacuum pump it could be from your pulley oil seal it could be from your flywheel oil seal it could be from your oil filter housing gasket make sure that basically all of your gaskets are in good condition because you don't want to starve your car from oil. Gaskets tend to break after a long time because they would harden up because they're just rubber and there's too many heat cycles that the car is going through, especially if you don't properly warm up and cool down your car, that could make it worse, or your car overheats, that could make it worse. Make sure they're in good condition, change them up so that you won't lose any oil. You could also have an internal leak, which could be from your turbo seal or your valve seal. Internal leaks means you won't visibly see any oil leaks inside your engine bay or underneath your car, but your car will start burning oil, which would result in white smoke out of your pipes and you still would lose oil. So make sure to have those checked up. One more thing you can do to make sure your engine is healthy and stays healthy is to do an engine flush with a flush oil. The next time you do your service, it will make sure to clean out all the gunk that's inside your engine. Make sure to check your fluids. Maybe you have neglected them. I'm sure you haven't, but if you haven't done it in a long time, change your engine oil, change your gearbox oil, change your axle oil, change your uh, coolant, you know? And one more thing to note is that if your gearbox has become jerky and you haven't changed your oil in what, like 200,000 kilometers, best to not change the gearbox oil anymore and just let the gearbox die in peace. But if it's still running fine, change the oil, make sure it has a long lifespan ahead of it, even though BMW tells you not to change the oil. Other than that, you can check your sensors, your, like your air mass sensor and your O2 sensor and your oil level sensor. Make sure they are in great shape. So many times after a long period of time, like 10 years, your, these sensors will start to go and they will not give you accurate readings and you don't want something like your oil level sensor to be giving you inaccurate readings. It would result in so many bad things. Your O2 sensor, very important. Your air mass sensor, very important. Make sure they are in great condition because after 10 years, I mean, if you're a normal person like I am and you have not stage two your car and you have not removed your cats and all of that, you can do a catalytic converter cleaner, make sure your cats are in good condition, they are clean, it would prolong the lifespan and it would make your car run a lot better. Since uh, we have never ending drivetrain errors in this car, we are gonna Go ahead and get it checked and see what's wrong this time. Surely nothing has gone wrong in the past two months, right? Oh my God, that's not one fault. Charge air pressure like all the time. Yeah. Okay. What else? Power window rear driver zero position exceeded. What? System not standardized. This need to calibrate. Calibrate the rear windows. Yeah. I don't care. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one.
You know, sometimes I really sit down and wonder why, why, why I sold the 5 Series. Sounds like a broken fighter jet. These cars are at a great value right now. If I sell it, I can trade it in for an F90 M5, brand new. So I think, I think I'm gonna do that. Bro, since I'm an expert now, and I, because I watched some YouTube videos, could my piston rings have a problem? Then before we fit the ring into the piston, we're gonna slide the ring in the cylinder. Huh? No? If I had that problem, what happened? You know, I will lose engine oil. Yeah. I am losing engine oil. And then I uh, got white smoke. White smoke. I do have white smoke. White smoke. I guess we do have <laughs> problem with <laughs> yes, white smoke, losing oil, and loss of power. Yeah. Maybe, maybe could be the piston ring. New video? New video. I have to rebuild the engine, right? Not a new video. No, no, I, I cannot afford this right now. Nice. Yeah. Since we don't have any oil leaking issues on this car, we are just topping up some oil so after. No oil leaking issues. Because we don't have any oil leaking issues. The engine sounds more quiet. I think it was really low on oil, but. Moving on to the exterior of the car. If you're living in a country with normal weather conditions, you normally ha don't have to worry about much. Maybe your paint is faded a little bit. You can polish it out. But if you're living somewhere like Canada, I'm sure there's a lot of things that could rust and start to look bad on your exterior because of all their snow and salt and the weird weather over there. The exterior of the car is the first thing you see when you look at your car is the beauty of the car. And a lot of times if your exterior is not in the best shape, like for example here with my headlights, it could make your car look a lot older than it actually is. I know my headlights certainly do a great job doing that. So changing to a new headlight or changing the lens could really freshen up the exterior of the car. You can do a wrap like I did, but I wouldn't recommend such, such a crazy wrap or I mean, do whatever you want, right? Another problem that I have personally run into and I know a lot of people have run into is this. As you can see, one of my mirrors doesn't fold in anymore because whatever is inside was made up of plastic and it broke and I have to change it now and I'm very lazy to go ahead and park the car at the shop and let them rebuild my mirrors. But if you want your car to actually look proper and not look crooked when you park it somewhere, this is one thing that you must do and you must know. Uh, BMW just loves their plastic and I'm a big advocate of them using plastic as you guys have seen my other shorts. Why does BMW keep using plastic parts in its engine? Because plastics tend to break. I mean it is what it is and if this happens to you you gotta change it, you gotta fix it. It's a part of your exterior. It could make the car look old and it could make the car look new if you actually maintain it properly. In terms of interior, there's a lot of things that could go wrong as well. After a period of time, soundproofing may be gone. I've actually soundproofed this car again myself. You can click here to watch that video. But in terms of soundproofing, you might start hearing creaks and noises from the interior, which you could fix by soundproofing it again. Another disgusting problem that these BMWs have, the door handles. If you park your car under the sun a lot, the door handles tend to get sticky and mushy and disgusting and they will stick to your hands. I have no idea why BMW uses this kind of, sh this kind of material on their door handles, but you got to change them out. They're disgusting. Another thing you got to check and make sure that is in great condition is your brakes. So after 10 years, I assume you may or may not have changed your rotors. I hope you have. But if you haven't, make sure to check and see what condition your rotors are in. If it has a lip, you gotta change it. If it's warped and you're getting shakes when you're braking, you gotta change your rotors and pads. I mean, everyone changes their pads regularly, I hope. Brake fluid as well. Another problem that these cars can have that people don't know about and they just live with it is your parking brake. So your parking brake should do five clicks. One, two, three is where it should start to engage really good. And four is very nice. And five is the most aggressive. 
If you have to pull your handbrake up like 10 clicks, either you gotta change your brake shoe or adjust your handbrake. It's very normal after this much time. And you can do that easily by removing the rear wheel and having your mechanic or yourself adjust it. Another issue that actually any car could have after 10 years, either they could be leaking or completely blown out. You gotta change your shocks. There is no way around it. If you're like me, change the coilovers. If you're not like me, get stock shocks. It will make the car handle like brand new again. It certainly changed the feeling of my car when I changed mine because it, it was really bouncy when I first bought it. So you may think to yourself, what the hell? Why do I have to do so many things to maintain a BMW. A lot of things that I said in this video apply to any other car out there. At the end of the day, these are just machines. These are made up of plastic, metal, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of things could go wrong. They're not like perfect. In a perfect world, you would buy a car and it could run perfectly without any maintenance or any issues for a hundred years. These are the maintenances that you gotta do. If you wanna buy one of these cars, you gotta keep some money aside make sure to do all of these chances are the previous owner hasn't done shit to the car and that's why they sold it because the car started to give them a little bit of issues here and there at the end of the day bmws are very reliable these are just wear and tear items that i have mentioned when the car is running in perfect condition there is nothing better that you can drive it feels amazing a good value for money 10 year old bmws are at really good prices and they are worth the money if you do the maintenance properly if you don't do the maintenance properly chances are you're gonna have a hard time with the car and it's gonna be a pain in the ass because it's gonna break down all the time